All right, our ultimate goal now is to solve ODEs with jumps. And in order to do that, we need to define the concept of a step function or what's also called the heavy side function. So definition, the heavy side function function. Let's say at two, which is called u2 of t, so not the band, but the function u2, and it's the function that's zero if t is less than two, and one if t is greater or equal to two. So what this looks like is the following. It's literally a function that starts at zero, starts at zero, and then at two, it suddenly jumps up to become one. So that is u2 of t. And again, this is called the heavy side function at two, and it's extremely important in applications because what it represents, it represents a off and on switch. Think a unit impulse or a unit voltage. So u2 of t represents a unit, no, impulse, voltage, or force at two. And once again, think like an off and on switch at two, where before two, everything is off, and then at two, you suddenly switch everything on and it becomes one. And of course, our main goal here is to find the Laplace transform of this. So let's calculate the Laplace transform of U2 of T and see what we get. So what this is, it's the integral from zero to infinity of U2 of T, E of minus ST, dt. And since u2 has a piecewise defined definition, it's zero before two and one after two, it makes sense to split up this integral from zero to two and then two to infinity. But on the interval zero to u2 is just zero. So zero e to the minus st dt. And from two to infinity, it becomes one. e to the minus st dt. Now, of course, the integral of zero is zero here. So we're just left with the integral from two to infinity, e of minus st dt, which we just need to anti-differentiate. So once again, since we're integrating with respect to t, the antiderivative is e of minus st over minus s. This time from t equals two to t equals infinity, which here again becomes a limit as t equals to infinity of e of minus st over minus s, which again, you can assume is zero, minus e of minus s times two over minus s, minus s. And in the end, once again, this limit is zero. So zero plus e of minus two s over s. So in the end, we get e of minus two s over s. So in other words, the Laplace transform of u2 of t is e of minus 2s over s. In other words, if you look at the picture, what happens when you take the Laplace transform of this function that switches at 2, what you end up getting is sort of a hyperbola, but with exponential decay. Something.
of minus 2s over s. So similar to exponential functions, but on the numerator, you have an exponential term. And we'll see later why this makes sense in terms of jumping. So the main thing to remember here is the following fact that the Laplace transform of, let's say, a jump at C is E of minus Cs over S. And in the next video, we will see how to describe jump processes using this heavy side function.